Hey everybody, Dan here from Astroworld Telescopes and I'm super excited today. I know it's been a long time coming, but uh, I'm finally getting to do the unboxing of the Prima Luce Lab Eagle 5. I was able to procure the Eagle 5 XTM version. Uh, there are three different versions of it. There's the Eagle 5 uh, S, Eagle 5 Pro, and this is the Eagle 5 XTM. I don't expect any surprises in here. I expect most of the same stuff as in the Eagle 4. The plastic is still on here. I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, but again, if you like what we're doing on the channel and if you uh, are so inclined, please feel free to subscribe on the channel at YouTube. And uh, if you really want to be supportive to the channel, feel free to hit us up on Patreon on Astroworld TV and get some subscriber content there. So that being said, let's get into the unboxing and we'll go over the specs. If you want to see our in-depth videos, feel free to be on the lookout for them as well on Astroworld TV on YouTube. Here we go. Let's get into it. Sunny skies, the smell of palm tree air. Looking back, I could never feel fair. The way the music has touched my soul. The way that the south holds its control. But I've got a new way, a new way to choose. I'm gonna start running back to the land of noon. Okay, so let's get on into this bad guy here and let's open this guy up and see what we got here. And yes, I was, I was not lying. The plastic is still here. All right. And again, I, I don't expect many surprises here. Um, and this is, again, the Eagle 5 XTM. Uh, I'm not sure what number it is, uh, but we'll see what it is. We'll pop this guy open and see. Okay. Oh, there's my code. Okay, so it uh, doesn't really matter, I guess. So your screws, GPS antenna, we'll go over that in the specs. Your cigarette lighter adapter. And we have your eagle with your eagle eye. As you can tell, it is a little bit, it's a little bit thicker than the regular uh, Eagle uh, 4 or, you know, or the regular Eagle 5. Um, looking really stoked for all this. And you got your two USB ports here. You got your two there. You got your four there. You got your, your fire port one and two. It's going to be really cool. So that's your Eagle. And then don't forget hidden over here is your little, uh, your little Wi-Fi antennas. So very cool. I mean, again, no surprises in the box. Uh, the, the packaging is, is, is perfect as usual. And uh, it really makes a product really nice and safe. And if anyone in case wants to know, this is number Eagle 5 XTM number 16. So not as good as the last one that I got, but I got to say thank you over to Filippo and Tom and uh, Charles and Omar over at, um, at Prima Luce Lab to, that was able to get me this. And uh, we're going to go over the specs really quick and uh, we'll move it along from there. So uh, again, a real quick video and uh, be on the lookout for our other videos on the in-depth setup. Okay, so as we discussed earlier, we're going to be going over the specs for the uh, Eagle 5 uh, XTM version of it, and uh, that's the one we have here. And there are two other versions of this. There's the Eagle 5S and the Eagle 5 Pro. Uh, the one, the, there's a couple of things that are different about the Eagle 5 XTM or Extreme version of it. And uh, we're going to go over those now. Um, the old stuff, let's go over the old stuff first, which is not the old stuff, but the, the normal stuff that it comes uh, with. So the first thing is the uh, power ports. It's got the same four power ports in the back, and it's got the same uh, dew heater ports on the side. Uh, so that's the first thing. It's got, got Wi-Fi, but now it has Wi-Fi 6. There we go. Now let's talk about the board, the memory, and the and the and the uh, and the SSD or NVMe drive. This comes with a Ryzen chip on it, not like any of the other ones that have the Intel chips on. I'm a fan of Ryzen. I have Ryzen on my desktop, 
you know, it's, you know, for most people, it's a Coke and Pepsi conversation, but uh, this uh, is the first one of its kind. It has a Ryzen 3 5400U quad core processor in it. Uh, along with that has 32 gig of RAM and a two terabyte NVMe drive. And both are industrial standard. Uh, with, as with all of the Eagle 5 line, all of the RAM and all the uh, drives are um, industrial grade. So, which makes it a lot more stabler and a lot more quicker. So, uh, very, very cool kind of stuff. Uh, another thing that has changed uh, as far as um, the, the set that's kind of here is uh, the USB ports. So, the USB ports uh, are a little bit different because of how uh, they had to put a new motherboard on there to, to, um, to accommodate the Ryzen. So, we have now, we have six USB uh, 2.0, um, sorry, 2.0 type A's on it. And uh, there's four on one side, which is a side where your main power and your Wi-Fi antennas are. And then there's two more little black ones on where the HDMI is over here. And then you have four more on this side. So you got eight on this side. You have eight here and you have two more USB 3.2 type A's. And then you have two, one here and one here, USB 3.2 C types. So really, really cool with that. Um, very, very nice idea and uh, really cool. So, so you got the USB, um, 10 USB ports. You have your, one thing that has changed and something I was trying to find before was where is the status light? In the Windows, in the, in the, in the 4 Pro, they had three LED lights, one for power, one for SSD, and one for, one, one for on, and one for, um, uh, one for power, one for SSD, one for on. And uh, there was above that was a status light. And I was looking for it and it says it has it on the specs. And then I realized, oh my goodness, it's on the other side where the other, where, right, right under your uh, GPS antenna. It's right down here as your status light, the little green light that goes on when the, uh, the, um, the windows, uh, the, the, I'm sorry, the Eagle Manager loads up. Uh, one other thing that has on here is the, the um, uh, ethernet ports. You have two ethernet ports on the extreme version. And you have one one gigabit, and one 2.5 gigabit, and so if you want extra speed and you want to hardwire it, you're more than welcome to. You could use those ports right there. Uh, two more things that you, we got to kind of go over on the uh, extreme and in all the Eagle Fives. One is that it has an incl inclinometer, and the inclinometer tells uh, your your software what your altitude is of the Eagle, and uh, that's really really a great thing to have when you're trying to tweak your polar alignment. So if you know your exact uh, latitude, you could do it with Eagle as long as you're, you're also level as well, and you'll be able to use that inclinometer as well. It also has a motion sensor. Now, hopefully sooner or later, all the, um, the acquisition software will, will uh, support this, but if the Eagle notices a little shudder or a gust of wind or something, if I even go like this on the Eagle, it will know that there's something going on that's not normal and that it may uh, be a picture that we want to take a look at. So uh, it will flag that picture and you'll be able to look at it. So that's, that is all there is to it. The only other thing I would mention it is it is a little bit thicker than the Eagle 4 regulars, um, but you know, not, it's not bad. It's not overbearing, uh, but really, really cool. So that's the specs of the Eagle. And let's head back to the table and we'll wrap this up. Okay, well that's it for the specs today for the Eagle 5 XTM. Uh, don't forget if you're looking for the Eagle 5S or the Eagle 5 Pro, hit the description below and all the specs will be there uh, and a link to the graphic uh, for the Eagle 5. And don't forget, you could always purchase your Eagle 5, whatever level you like at astroldtelescopes.com. We are now a Prima Luce dealer. So feel free to visit our website there and uh, take a look at all the specs and everything on the, over there as well. So. Um, that's it for today. Be on the lookout for all of the uh, in-depth videos. I'll do, uh, do my five or six part on how to set up your Eagle 5. And uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be a great time. So uh, if you like the video and you like to see what we're doing uh, over at Astro TV, please feel free to subscribe by hitting the bell and uh, hitting the subscribe button so you get notifications on when we have uh, new content uploaded. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for your support. And remember as always to keep imaging, keep educating, and clear skies. And we'll see you on our next video. Thank you so much for watching.